Agora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, I have had conversations with individual members uh, of Congress. Uh, I have absolutely no problem saying publicly what I've said to you here. I, remember, I kind of thought this was public. Uh, but, you know, this is a... The problem with Washington right now, Washington is a giant self-licking ice cream cone. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, you know it's, it's just enjoying itself, you know? And, and, and I think it's completely decoupled from where average Americans are. And I think a good example of that is the, is the deficit discussion. There isn't an American who doesn't know that the only solution to this is going to have to involve both cuts in entitlements and increases in taxes. It's, it's not possible. And, and yet we've got two political parties that are both playing games with their base so that they can hold the loyalty of their base when they go to the next election. Well, frankly, their bases will not get them elected. It's going to be the center centrists that will get them elected. Yeah. So at some point, you know, we're going to have to let honest judgment trump tactical political politics here. The question that just fluttered to the floor is about how we can justify spending so much money in other countries when we have such huge needs ourselves for uh, health and education. Well, we do have huge needs here. There's no, no question about that. Um, but if we had 11 people who undertook a clever terrorist action, probably forced us as a nation to spend $2 trillion. I would rather find a way to spend a couple of tens of millions of dollars and billions of dollars over time to remove that problem because we took ourselves over the cliff with how we reacted. And we are going to do that as a nation. So let's find sensible ways to spend money that helps our national security interests. I, I only recommend this because it's in our national interest. I, while it may speak to my, my religious convictions, I, I'm here today as the former Deputy Secretary of Defense to say this is in our national security interests.